How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today is Easter Sunday and I'm out here catching Easter fish. Um, I'm kind of doing my introduction at the end of the day. I'm ready to throw this one rod back into the rod holder on top of my truck. I had another rod with me earlier today. I had a, this is a streamer rod that I like using. I had a, a nymph set up with an indicator. Today has been really slow. I've only landed about four fish. I've hooked into some others and had some other strikes and uh, other fish swoop on streamers, but just missed the fly. One of the brown trout I landed it, um, I caught them in the fin, actually both of them possibly. And you know, that's what happens sometimes when big fish swoop on flies and you set the hook and they miss, you kind of get them in a fin or get them in the body or something. Makes it really difficult to land those fish though. You can't turn their head and control them as easily. And, um, you know, I've, I've been out here and I haven't seen really many people catching fish today. There's some drift boats where I started the day off at, which was Texas Hole. And there was hardly anybody in there waiting. I had kind of some sections all to myself for a while, even Texas Hole all to myself except for a couple drift boats and they were catching fish but some of them are small and they caught a couple decent fish but they weren't doing all that well either so it's been definitely a slow day the water's been off color and that's kind of how it is sometimes in this during this time of the year and um you know i'm glad i caught four fish would have liked to caught five would have liked to caught into the the teens or into double digits but it is what it is sometimes and I don't think I'm going to fight the wind much longer. It's kind of died down a little bit. One of the goals for today was to try and catch fish on, all, on three different setups, which would have been a nymph, my nymph rod, uh, my streamer rod, and also catch a fish on a dry fly setup. But I really didn't see many fish consistently rising to where I wanted to start throwing dry flies. Plus, it's extremely windy, and throwing small mid patterns in the wind is kind of can be pretty difficult at times i have no problem doing it if i see a lot of fish consistently rising i did see a few fish rising but again that key word is consistent and they were not consistently rising so thanks for tuning in hope you like the video that i'll start having play right now i'm gonna get on out of here and until next time i'll see you on the river maybe I knew I should have been recording 10 seconds sooner, I swear. It's really my first cast off this platform right on this one. I'm not sure if I got it in the mouth. At least this one has stairs. I don't have to climb over shit. I think I got, I think it swooped on it and it fucking missed it and got him in the side somehow. Happens. Big streamer. Yep, right on the back fin. He went for it. Saw him. Backwards. I know, I know. Solid brown, though. Fuck. Where are you at? Just see you, buddy. There, flies out. Nice solid brown, though. Jeez, I'm getting all wet. Solid, solid brown. See you, buddy. 
That was fun. I've only been fishing maybe 10 minutes. First fish landed. Wish it was in the mouth, but that's what happens. Sometimes pulling big streamers. Had one other fish that I hooked up that was definitely in the mouth, but the fly popped out. So that's what you're going to do sometimes. It's always fun for me to catch them off these platforms. There, now the fly is out. Oh, 16, at least 16, maybe 18 inch rainbow. See you buddy, thanks for playing the game. Catching fish on Easter, that's my Easter egg for the day. Easter fish. Now I get to deal with the mess that's in my net. No. There we go. Looks like a rainbow. I actually took like the little, I've just got a red hook for the second fly. That's something you do here on the San Juan River, just literally use a red hook with no material on it. I've got a two fly set up on this that I had from another spot. And uh, before I changed it up, I wanted to use it. I did not get the strike, of course. Um, just because it's hard to anticipate sometimes fish when I'm fishing underwater. I just can't roll footage all the time. So that's why I don't roll footage all the time. Decent sized rainbow. First fish of the day on that red hook. I've got a black leech above it. I'm probably going to change the setup here soon. But we'll see what happens. There, in the net. Pretty rainbow. Right there, the hook's right there on its mouth. Let's see if I can. I think the hook's out already. Nope. I have to get my other hand wet. Okay, okay, okay. Let's not tangle my entire line up here. It's all hooked up on me. I changed my nymph setup. I've got a San Juan worm on there. It's got kind of a rubbery type of material on it. Just change flies. I had a red one on, they didn't like the red one. Decent sized rainbow. Come on, Easter trout. There we go. In the net. Nice fish. Solid fish for sure. think it's a fish for a second. I'm going to bend in that rod. 
there's some blue. There's still kind of blue skies and bent rods, but I guess it's partially overcast and bent rods. Oh, come on. That was a nice fish. Fuck. Poopy. Long distance release. Fuck. Ah, oh, that was a nice fish. Man. I wish I'd have had that on camera. I threw it to the bank and that fish hit it almost immediately. Oh, I got him in the fin too. He missed it. I've had so many fish miss this fly. Oh, it's such a pain in the ass when it's in the fin. And the net. The second brown trout. This is only like fish number four, I think. Luck in this section. Fish are missing the fly. Then you need to turn over. Oh, the fly's already out. Solid brown. Solid brown. See ya. Thanks. Another uh, Easter brown trout. Should have been recorded, but I just turned my camera off. Too, of course, it was recording, and then I stopped. There's a fish rise, a small one. Let's see if I at least catch five today. Jeez, was it four? I should be able to. It's been a pretty slow day.